To create a workspace with Tally, it's really easy. You go on the dashboard and here you get the list of your workspace. So here we see that we've got different workspace. So if I click on create a workspace, I can create, for instance, a, a team, code with Guillaume team. There we go. Code with Guillaume's team workspace. Okay, so I'm going to click on complete and look at this down there. I got a new workspace that has been created because until now I've had my own workspace. So if I want to move uh, my form, I can move them into uh, my own workspace. However, if I want to move them to another workspace, I can click here and select, for instance, the workspace of Guillaume. Okay, so here we see that we've got two different workspace, my own, and probably the one I would like to add a member to. Okay, so the best thing would be here that when I have private tally, okay, when I have a private tally, so here I want to have only um, those um, forms for me, and this form would be for somebody else that I'm going to invite just after. The best thing would be to rename it. So here I got my workspace, but let's say it's going to be private. Okay, in private, I want to keep this one. There we go. Okay, so down there we got the code with Guillaume team workspace. All right, it's a bit more clean. I got my two offers now here. Here we see that we've got, I'm going to edit this form because it's not really clean. I'm going to remove this to get a bit of um, a bit of logic into it. So when I come back, there we go. We see that I got my two offers in here. So what I'm going to do, uh, actually in this workspace here, I'm going to share the, the, the forms that I created in here. So basically up here, it's private. It's only me, as you see in, in purple here, code with Guillaume that is available here. But down there on uh, the Teams workspace, I would like to invite somebody. So what I can do is to click here on the plus and here I got the existing members, so only me. And here I can invite anybody via email to join the workspace. So what I can do here is to type the email. I got my second email. I'm going to invite myself. I'm going to click here on invite. And there we go. We see that I got a pending invite. And if I want to remove my invite, I can click here. So here on myappyagency at gmail.com, I should have an email that invited me to join Tally. If I update, I don't get it here yet. What I need to do is to go to my email and to validate. Back on my email, here we see that I got uh, code with Guillaume invited you to join Tally. So I'm going to click on create my account because I am not existing with this email yet. All right. So I'm going to create a second account just to have it here. And on my second account on the top, as you see, I got an invitation to join the organization. So I'm going to click on accept. And here I'm going to click on OK. And there we go. As you see on my second account, I got here code with Guillaume Teams workspace and I got the same access to the form that I share with my other account. So you see, I got two different workspace and I could create as much workspace as I want and I can invite as much member as I want. With this, with this cool is that I can make a separation of concerns. If I got my own forms, I can keep them on this. If I got the forms of one workspace, I can keep them on another one, etc., etc. Back on code with Guillaume uh, uh, Tallies, I got my private forms and I got here the forms of the team. And here we see that I got the list in here with the new member, which is here. All right. If I want to remove the member as the admin, I can come back here. I can click on remove the member from this workspace. And there we go the other account will be unable to see the forms that I fulfilled down there. So create workspace to separate uh, your companies, for instance, to separate your clients, to separate teams and to separate the work that you want to do. If you want to create a form just to collect email, create a workspace for marketing, for instance. If you got another one to collect for courses like I do, create a workspace courses, etc., etc. Which is really cool with workspaces and the system of team members is that you can separate everything that is related to your business logic. Is it personal? Is it professional? Is it from marketing, from tech, from sales? You could manage everything directly inside your Tally dashboard. With Tally, we saw that we can create forms really fast.
We can create different workspaces and invite people to collaborate on forms. Those forms, they can be customizable on every point. You can add as much fields as you want. You can add conditional logic, images, a payment system. You can also make integration with those forms. If you want to catch the data somewhere else, you can connect Tally to Google Sheet, Notion, Airtable, Zapier, Make, and a lot of other applications. Tally is a tool that I'm using every day. I'm using Tally to collect emails, but also to make appointments or just to get data from my clients. I'm using Tally because I don't want to waste my time coding every day. This kind of tools is for me the future and Tally is right now on the market the best tool to catch data through a form that we can create in less than one minute.